welcome back to my channel. So today we have a roundup of my all-time drugstore favorites. So if you are interested in hearing my absolute favorite best drugstore products in every single category, then just keep on watching. Absolute favorite primers from the drugstore are the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Primer. This is an absolute amazing product, not only for the price, but just in general. I tried to keep that mentality with all of the products here. Regardless of drugstore or not, these are products that I would purchase pretty much regardless of the price. Even if these had high-end prices, I would repurchase these products. So the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Primer is something that you've seen me use and love so so, so many times on my channel. I am a massive primer fan, primer advocate. I always, always prime my face when I do my makeup. So I'm gonna do swatches of all the products here. This in my collection is the closest dupe that I've found for the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, which is probably my favorite primer Ever. This is the closest that I have found that it leaves that very tacky hydrated base behind and that is my favorite type of primer. So if you're interested in a very hydrating, nourishing, simple primer, doesn't disrupt any of your foundations or anything underneath, just adds extra hydration and helps the foundation grip, then I would highly, highly recommend the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Primer. The second primer that I have to recommend is the NYX Professional Makeup Bear With Me Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Radiant Perfecting Primer. This is a product that genuinely surprised me. It just gives a beautiful sheen and glow to the skin. I have lots of products that give me this kind of finish because that is what I like. I have dry skin so I like to hydrate and I like to add radiance when I can and this product is just absolutely gorgeous at doing that. This one is another one that will add a ton of hydration but then it also has that added glow so whereas the ColourPop is more just for strictly hydration, this one is hydration with a glow. So these are my top two recommended products primers from the drugstore. For my skin type at least, I absolutely, absolutely adore these. Next up, we have foundations and one of my absolute favorite, favorite products ever in general is the Koki Skin Perfect HD Foundation. It is so incredibly affordable on the more affordable side of the drugstore and it is such a beautiful foundation. It is a nice, mid buildable coverage foundation. You get a super nice glass bottle. You get a pump. It has kind of like a demi matte finish. Um, so I usually like to pair this with like a more radiant primer underneath or add in a little bit of oil or something to get a little more dew and glow. This product wears gorgeously throughout the day. This is one that I opt to wear to work a lot at Sephora and I just absolutely love it. The second foundation that I have to recommend to you guys is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid. Very similar packaging, glass bottle with a pump, which I absolutely love getting from the drugstore. I just think that is my ideal packaging. This one is a little bit higher in coverage than the Koki one and this one is also a more radiant dewy finish whereas the Koki one is like a demi matte. So that there is the Koki one and then this here is the Makeup Revolution. This is a creamier thicker consistency than the Koki one. The Koki is a little more lightweight and liquidy. This one is a little bit thicker and it is very smooth on the skin. The coverage is just incredible and it wears beautifully on my dry skin. So these two foundations, the Koki and the Makeup Revolution, I highly, highly suggest. In terms of pressed powder, I don't have one that I can absolutely say that I love, love and would repurchase regardless of the price. But in terms of loose powder, I have two. One of which I don't have here to show you guys because I have run out, but it is the Cody Airspun Translucent Setting Powder. Cody Airspun is one of my number ones ever ever but I don't have it. It's not available in Canada and we are currently not able to cross the border for obvious reasons so I do not have that at the moment but the powder that I do have and love pretty much equally is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. I have mine in 05 
Fair. So this is a colored powder. This is my favorite, favorite powder to set my under eyes. I don't use this powder on any other part of my face. It does provide a little bit of additional coverage under the eyes. It helps bake and set without causing a ton of dryness. This one doesn't cling to any dry patches that I have. It blends away beautifully. I also really love it to bake in this area here. I didn't do that today, but I love, love doing that with this powder. The only bronzer that I have absolutely loved and repurchased over the years is the um, Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I don't think that's a surprise to most people. It's a lot of people's favorites for good reason. So I don't currently have a single of the butter bronzer, but I do have the Physicians Formula Whaley Palette, and in here you get the light butter bronzer and the deep butter bronzer. Such a gorgeous formula. It is so buttery and smooth and creamy. It blends incredibly. I'm wearing it today. Um, and then we have the deep bronzer, which isn't too deep. I wouldn't necessarily describe that as deep. For my skin tone, for my personal preferences and what I like, Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer is where it's at. It is just so creamy. Even though I'm so incredibly pale, I can count on this bronzer to make me look warm, defined, sculpted, and just overall does everything that I would want in a bronzer. I have the Airspun Loose Face Highlighter. This came out earlier this year fall 2019 I believe and this is such a good product this is in the shade snow much ice 100 I believe this is the only one the only shade in this range that would suit me being as pale as I am this formula reminds me so so much of the artist couture diamond glow powders which I absolutely love not just in consistency but in the way it looks on my skin this is like my go-to highlighter when I go out for a night out with my friends and I want that like blinding highlight. I absolutely love it. It is such a good formula. It does everything I would want a highlighter to do. I love it as a nose highlight just in general. It's, it's just such a good formula. It's so inexpensive. I really, really love it. Next, we have another very inexpensive product. This is the ColourPop Super Shock, Super Shock Cheek Pearlized Highlighter in uh, Flexitarian. It is like a cream ish formula but it's a cream disguised in a powder kind of it is so so gorgeous and buttery you can apply it with your fingers or with a brush then my third favorite highlighter from the drugstore that i absolutely love with all of my heart is the pixie glowy gossamer duo out of this i can only realistically use the pinkier lighter ish shade on my face just because i am so fair the other one just is too dark for me this is such a gorgeous, insanely blinding highlight. All three of these really are very blinding. Here you are able to see those three highlighters. So on the far end here, we have the Airspun Highlighter in Snow Much Ice. Super, super gorgeous. In the middle, we have ColourPop Flexitarian, a little more natural and skin-like. And then on the far end here, we have the Rose Gold-ish Highlight from Pixie. These three are my absolute favorites. The next category that we have is blush. For this category, I have two product recommendations. The first of which is a relatively new product to me. I've probably only owned this for about a month, but in that time, I've been reaching for it a lot pretty much over any of my other blushes. This is the All May Healthy Hue Blush in, I can't find a shade name on here, but this is the brighter pink, blue toned pink blush in the collection. I'm not wearing this today. It is such an absolutely gorgeous blush. This is like my kind of ideal blush color. Look at that pigment. It is just such a gorgeous product. I don't really own any other products from All May, but I saw this shade and the packaging on it, like everything just spoke to me, so I knew I needed to own it. It is so pigmented, so bright, so blendable, very creamy, really everything you would want in a blush. So highly, highly recommend this All May formula. And then the other product that I have that is my absolute favorite is the Rimmel Kate Blush Palette. This is such an inexpensive product, especially for three blushes. We have the darker, like terracotta, corally, shimmery red. It's such a unique color. And then we have that coral nude and then the more NARS orgasm type color, that super shimmery coral pink. 
I've never tried Rimmel single blushes. Um, I've never really had the desire to, but this palette is so, so incredible for the price. And I've honestly never heard, I don't think anyone on YouTube talk about it. I don't think I've heard anyone talk about the All My Blushes either. And these blushes are just so, so gorgeous. Regardless of the price, I highly recommend these. The eyeshadow formula and palette that I have tried that I think is the absolute best from the drugstore is Milani Shadows in general, but more specifically this Gilded Desires palette. This is the palette that Milani came out with in collaboration with Trend Mood. You get 12 shadows, um, some shimmers, some mattes, and then you also get two face highlighters in here. I don't think I've ever tried the highlighters, but the shadows are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna swatch a few. So we have two mattes, that cranberry and that black, so, so good. And then we have like a bright yellow gold and a light rose gold kind of champagne. It's a really, really good palette. Makes me wanna try like all of Milani's shadows. They just perform so beautifully. I don't have any other shadows from the drugstore that perform like this. This is like high-end quality here for such a low price tag. So so if you never tried Milani shadows or you don't own this Gilded Desires palette specifically, get your hands on it. You won't regret it. There are so many mascaras from the drugstore that I have loved and repurchased, but I wanted to narrow it down to my absolute two favorites and I picked one for length and one for volume. So for length, we have the Maybelline Lash Sensational. This is... If I had to pick one, this would probably be my favorite drugstore mascara. I've just repurchased it so many times. This gives me the most definition and length of pretty much any mascara. It's curved in a way that if you wanted to, you could get volume using that back side, but I mainly use this to lengthen and define my lashes. I love this for my lower lash mascara as well because it's very black and it's very precise. It's just a really, really great mascara. I absolutely love this one. Then for volume, you seriously can't go wrong with the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. It is just absolutely amazing for volume. It has that hourglass wand. You probably can't tell because there's a lot of product on there, but it does have that same kind of hourglass wand that's gonna historically give you that volume. This is so, so pretty with curled natural lashes, just really, really build up that volume. I love this. This pair together as well is incredible. I love using the Maybelline Lash Sensational for length and definition, and then going on top with the um, L'Oreal Lash Paradise for volume. This pair is absolutely incredible. Incredible. You really can't go wrong with either of these. I just absolutely love these mascaras and I will always repurchase them. The next category that I have to talk about is lip liners. There are two brands and two formulas specifically that I think are killing it in terms of drugstore and I really don't think that these formulas compare to any others at the drugstore. These are just like next level feel like high-end, wear like high-end, the color ranges are amazing. The first of which is Morphe. The color range is amazing. The formula is amazing. The consistency is amazing. The longevity is amazing. Everything is just on point with this formula. So I have two specifically, two shades um, to recommend. My absolute favorite shade of the Morphe lip liners is in Bay. Such a pretty color, like my perfect, perfect pink. Um, and then the other shade that I have to recommend is Foolish. This is a little more of a coral warm tone pink, but still definitely in that pink family. I think these are comparable, if not better than the MAC lip liners. Um, these are just absolutely amazing. And the shade range is also really good, um, especially if you love pinks, nudes, wearable colors, they have it down. They are so, so good. The next lip liner formula that I have to recommend is the NYX Professional Makeup Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely a Turn On Waterproof Extreme Color Lip Liner. This name is ridiculous. These are beautiful. They feel very similar to me as the Charlotte Tilbury lip liners. So I have two shades here. Again, my absolute two favorites. My favorite would be Bed Rose. That's swatch. And then we have Nude Suede Shoes. 
this is my all-time favorite nude lip liner. I think everyone needs this in their collection. I just love these. You really can't go wrong. The price tag on the NYX ones is a little bit higher than the Morphe ones. So if I had to recommend, I would say go with Morphe. But it's really the shades in these two that I just love. These lip liners are the best. The last and final product that I have to show you guys is a lip gloss. This is the NYX Filler Instinct Plumping Lip Polish. These are incredibly plumping. They feel very similar on the lips to the uh, Too Faced Lip Injection. This is the only formula I've found that feels comparable to that feeling, that super, super tingly sensation. This shade that I have here I'm going to swatch for you is in Sparkling Please. This is a pretty pink nude. This is Sparkling Please. I'm not wearing it today, but perhaps I should have. It's such a gorgeous color and it's just really, really great. So the NYX Filler Instinct Plumping Lip Polish. I hope that this video was useful and helpful for you guys, especially if you aren't as familiar with drugstore products or if you are just starting out in makeup. That is everything that I have for you guys today. As always, thank you so, so much for watching and I hope that you have an absolutely awesome day. Bye.